Hi! In this video I'm going to introduce you to Windows Presentation Foundation Dependency Properties and Attached Properties. Dependency Properties provide a way to compute the value of a property based on the value of other inputs. All types that use Dependency Properties derive from a class called Dependency Object which provides the method getValue. This is the method that is used to obtain the current value of the property. Let's compare dependency properties with normal properties. Normal properties typically get their value from private backing fields. However, dependency properties get their value from calling the getValue method. Let's have a look at what is happening when this getValue method is called. So the first thing that it is checking is whether there is an animation going on. If there is an animation that affects the property value, the property value is updated depending on the stage of the animation. Many times there is no animation going on. So in that case, getValue has to keep looking. The next place it checks for a value is binding expression. So it looks whether there is some kind of a data binding or a binding expression that affects the property value. If that is the case, the property value has been found, it can be returned. But if there was no animation and no binding, then get value checks whether a local value was set explicitly, maybe in XAML, maybe in the code behind. If none of the above was true, get value checks whether there is a style or a trigger that affects the property value. If that is the case, that the value is found, it can be returned. If not, then there is still the possibility that a value was inherited. If that is not the case either, then last but not least, the value will be found in the de default value for the property. There are advantages of using dependency properties. One of them is that we have this wide variety of sources where we can obtain the value from. And another one is a reduced memory footprint. Dependency properties store only modified properties. This is significant because many UI controls have dozens of properties and typically less than 10% of the property values are set. Up until now, we focused on dependency properties in this video. Now let's have a look at attached properties. Attached properties are a XAML concept. In attached properties, the child element specifies the value for a property that has been defined in the parent element. Attached properties are defined by a control that needs data from another control in a specific context. That could be, for example, a parent layout panel that needs to know the width of the child control in order to be able to align it in the center. Let's look at this button declaration. The property doc belongs to the doc panel. However, it is set in the button, which is a child control of the doc panel. Notice how doc is preceded by doc panel. You will see attached properties frequently in connection with container controls. For example, when setting the row of a grid or the position on a canvas.